this is the look that we go for. Okay? I couldn't feel less hot. I couldn't feel less like working out than in this. But if I wear the other thing, then people literally stop what they're doing and look at me. So this is the vibe. So what is going on here? Well, I came across this video. It's a TikTok video while watching V Romanian TV's channel. Uh, if you don't know V, I'll leave a link to him down in the comments somewhere. You probably know him. If you're watching my channel, you probably know about V. Uh, I've been watching him for years. But I saw this and I was interested in making a statement about it because it is kind of pr pretty weak that this girl is uh, saying some crazy things about how she's allowed to dress in Japan. And, you know, I, wanna, I, I got some stuff to say about it. So let's, let's take a look at the video in full. Before we do, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure that you're still subscribed. You can find me over on Rumble and on Twitter. So let's get into this video now. If you are coming to Japan and planning on going to the gym, let me just warn you, do not wear a matching set. Do not wear a cute little outfit like this. I know that we all love them. I feel so super cute right now. But if I wear something like this to the gym, Japanese people literally treat me like I have whore written on my forehead. Like they stop and they look at me and they're like, what the f***? Like I've forgotten to get dressed. This is how I dress now. Now that I've been living here for a year, when I go to the gym, this is how I dress. Like all the other Japanese people. I'm not kidding you. This is the vibe. This is the vibe. Okay. The pants with the leggings on underneath. This is the look that we go for. Okay. I couldn't feel less hot. I couldn't feel less like working out than in this. But if I wear the other thing, then people literally stop what they're doing and look at me. So this is the vibe. So if you come to Japan, just be prepared. All right. So, of course, you know, why are you living in Japan? That's one thing that we have to point out here. Did you did you voluntarily move to Japan? I think you did because I don't think anybody captured you and, and took you to Japan and said, okay, go live your life here now. Don't worry. You can't leave the country. There, You know, no ship will take you. No no plane will take you out of the country. But uh, you can live here as a free person. Now, we know that didn't happen. So she chose to live in Japan. Now, I very well could happen to me. I might... I might move to Asia someday to live in my wife's home country, and I'm just going to have to realize that I have to abide by certain customs and practices there. I have to be tolerant of certain customs and practices there that I might not like. I might have to do things that I don't really want to do. That's just how it would be. All right, right? That's I'm a guest in that country. I can't just do what I want to do while I'm while I'm staying there. Now she said, you know, people look at me like I'm dressed like well, you are dressed like a whore. <laughs> when I see women dressed like this when they're going to the gym, I'm like, all right, that's kind of like the social convention. But when I see a woman dressed like that when she's walking down the street, I'm like, okay, that why are you dressed? I mean, that outfit that she was wearing, let's see if we can get back to it here. Cause, sorry, she looks good in that. And what I see when a woman is wearing this right here, I see like, okay, you're looking for male attention. You are looking to find a man. And I'm not the only person who thinks this. In fact, I'm pretty very much like not noticing of this sort of thing. I... <laughs> When I was living in L.A., I had uh, three roommates. One of them was Vietnamese. And this girl's walking down the street, and he's like, look, it's a hooker. <laughs> and I'm like, it's just a girl walking down the street. And then she came over and talked to us, just like really friendly. And just like walked across the street and was chatting us up about, oh, I'm looking for my friend and this and that and the other. And then my other roommate rolled up. He had been out on a walk or out jogging or something. And he's like, did you see that girl? I'm like, yeah, we saw that girl. And he's like... Yeah, she's looking for her friend, but, you know, I think her friend ended up in somebody's bed. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, well, look at the way that, that she was dressed. And then I imagine her friend was dressed similarly. She's probably in somebody's bed right now. Come on. So I don't even see this stuff that way as much as other people that I have come across in my life do. So, But if you're dressed like this, this does not look like comfortable gym attire to me. Why? Well, you're too covered up. I would get hot if I were actually there working. I would, maybe she's trying to sweat. But I would be like, okay, I am way overheated here. I, I get too hot in a t-shirt. I'm wearing a t-shirt and I'm wearing um, workout pants. And I'm like, I am freaking burning up. But my, my upper body workouts tend to be pretty intense. I'm going to start wearing a, a tank top to the gym because I'm like, I, I just can't do it anymore. I'm too hot. I take water that I've chilled in the freezer for like 45 minutes. Not, on, not only did I chill in the freezer for 45 minutes, but I left it in the refrigerator overnight first. And then I chilled it in. The, sometimes I pull out of the freezer and it's like half ice. I'm like, oh, okay, this is... It's going to be a very cold beverage for me while I'm at the gym. That'll be good. So, yeah, you look like you have that written across your forehead when you're walking around. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. I was at the gym. The girl was basically wearing a bikini and tennis shoes. Not much more than that. I'm like, what, what are you doing? I mean, I understand the social convention at the beach or at the pool. Okay, I get that. 
but when you're going to the gym, you're dressed like that. And she was like, I, I, I don't know this girl, but she looks like she's like, I can't tell with makeup, like this girl here in the video, she looks like she's 19 to me, but she could be 29 with the makeup making her look much younger. But I, you know, I can't tell with, with makeup how young these girls are, but looking at some of the men that she goes to the gym with, they look like they're 16. So I'm like, oh, she's like a teenager. 16 year olds can join the gym for free even. And this girl's to realize, you know, she's a teenager. She's asking for trouble if she dresses like that. All right, now she kind of goes on into another video, this one here, and explains herself. She, at least she implies that she's explaining what she's talking about. And it has to do with this roadie comment right here on the side where it says, Japan has a fake facade with the most weird and unusual underground S exploitation that would make the West look like nuns. It's very hypocritical. And what she goes on to explain in this video, I'm not going to play it, is um, that she can walk across the street to the convenience store there and she can buy a magazine that depicts child exploitation. And I don't mean in a documentary way. I mean actually, um, you know, what you would get if you bought Hustler. So that's uh, pretty extreme. It's actually playing the words so you can read them if you want to. So if she's complaining that like, look, why is Japan being hypocritical when they have all of this? Like you can go out and you see street walkers everywhere you go uh, because women just can't make a living. A lot of women just can't make a living and it's an easy way for them to get money. Is What I've heard, I, she doesn't say that in this. Uh, she does a little bit, but not not uh, really. I've, I've watched other channels talk about uh, Japan and what, what goes on there. But however, and asterisk, ampersand, whatever you want to put on that, she's being hypocritical she's lying she's she's not really talking about the fact that japan is hypocritical in this way and let me explain to you why by playing one of her other videos people always ask me what is your motivation to go to the gym and the truth is it's not to look better and it's not to be healthy because i drink like a fish and i smoke like a chimney emotional damage it's because i have severe unmedic unmedicated adhd and if i don't spend at least two hours a day daydreaming and listening to music and thinking of fake scenarios i will literally explode i can spend like six hours pacing around my apartment just listening to music and just like thinking of situations that will never come to fruition like when i am in that gym i am not there i am not on that treadmill i am in fucking, i don't know ancient saudi arabia um and a, i'm a princess flying on a magic carpet okay i don't even know that if that lines up but i'm i'm anywhere else but there so if you think that you're gonna i'm gonna tell you some motivational story about like i want to lose weight and i just want to be the healthiest i can when i'm 90 it's not it's because i want to feel productive while i am literally wasting my life daydreaming I want it to have some effect. I don't just want to have, oh, what did you do today? I spent seven hours listening to the Rocky Horror soundtrack and imagining that I was the lead singer. That's what I did. All right, so that sounds like a um, typical, not sane 19 year old Western girl. Her motivation, she doesn't need any to go to the gym. She was saying in, in the other video, I, if I'm not dressed you know, in a sexy, cute outfit, then I don't have any motivation to work out. Well, sounds like you got plenty of motivation. And you're going to the gym not not to be motivated anyway. You don't care about your about your health. You said so right here. You smoke like a chimney, you drink like a fish. Self-destructive behaviors, huh? Where have we seen that before amongst Western women, especially young Western women? You are the foundations of civilization, women. You, you have to realize this, that you're the important ones. Men are disposable. We've known this forever, that men are disposable. That's why men go to war and women don't. Well, one of the reasons. So yeah, she's lying about her motivations for complaining about what she's allowed to wear to the gym in Tokyo. We have that proof right here. I do want to play one of her other videos too. Now, if you're curious about this person, and you're not looking at the screen, her name is Tallulah.Roseby. I don't know what that means. Tallulah Rose, I assume is her name or Rose Tallulah. And then B might be her middle name. I don't know. Maybe B is just a letter that she likes. Whatever. Now, there was another one that I wanted to play here, and that was, I think, this one here, which we'll take a look at because she wants to blame her boyfriend for her problems. Dating men makes you fat, and I can prove it. My boyfriend has been gone from Tokyo for two weeks. Two weeks, and I've lost five kilos. Coincidence? Coincidence, I think not. And it doesn't feel like I'm eating less than usual. I just don't have, like, a big Russian in my ear every 10 seconds going, Try this. Eat this. Oh, it's got Hello Kitty on it. You have to try it. They fucking, they force feed you. Like, we'll be walking along and he'll be like, we, we have to, we have to. And I'll go, what? And he'll go, it's a Lebanese restaurant. And I'll be like, 
of course, I've been to many Lebanese restaurants and he'll be like, but we've never been to one together. And I'll be like, we've had dinner. And he'll go, no, we have to go now. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but we have to go now. And you have to eat everything on the menu. They just like don't understand that we can't eat as much as them. He's gone for another two weeks. I'm going to be Bella Hadid by the time he gets back. I'm going to be Bella Hadid, I swear. Okay, I don't know who Bella Hadid is. Can Maybe you know and you can tell me in the comments. I don't know. As I understand, this, this woman is Australian. That's what she has implied. I've heard her say that when she was living in Australia, and I'm assuming that means she is from Australia. She's been living in Tokyo for a year. But this is, again, a problem of her own creation. Why are you dating a Russian man? Why aren't you living in Russia where you can get bent over by him and wrecked every single day, multiple times? Why can't you say no? And by the way, she said uh, five kilos, and if you're an American, and that's, I think, 12 pounds. So something around there. The, uh, the people in the other countries that use that d weird divide by 10 system can, can maybe double check on that for me if they know. Yeah, so the, again, it's, it's all uh, a her problem. She also did a video where she asked her boyfriend about how often he thinks about the Roman Empire. He's like, yeah, I, I think about it a few times a week. And she's like, I never think about it. That's ridiculous. Why would you do that? That doesn't make any sense. But look at what she thinks about. Most of her channels need to be about beauty products. And you look at her, she's wearing a ton of makeup, a lot of makeup. Every video she has on a different makeup style. Well, slightly different, but she has on a lot of makeup. And she, look at her fake nails, her perfect, uh, her clothing, her hair, all that stuff. She you know, has videos where she's talking about certain types of shampoo and stuff. So she's very much about her physical appearance and wants us to believe that this is a thing where she's like complaining that Japan is hypocritical when it's like, no, you are wanting to dress in a way that shows off your physique. Otherwise, why would you have it? Why would you have a channel about beauty and makeup and all that stuff? I was like, it makes sense. I mean, she's showing off her, her body in some of these videos. In this video here, she did that. She pulled the camera up where we could see where'd she put it at? I don't know. I don't, uh, let's see if we can find it. I doubt it, but maybe that's her yeah, a little bit better there where you can see. Look, she's showing off her physique. If you got it flaunted is what she's saying. So she's trying to cover up the fact that, at least that's the impression that I got with that other video where she's talking about the child exploitation stuff. She's trying to cover up the fact that, that she, she's just frustrated that she can't show off her body in Japan the way that she wants to. But it's like, you know, you should have a sense of modesty. Japan, obviously, is being hypocritical. Yes, if they say, like, when you're out in public, you have to display a sense of modesty. But then you can go to the local convenience store and buy these magazines with this terrible, horrifying images in them that I don't even want. To. Like I've said before, like, I had to stop watching the SVU. I, and this was 20 years ago, almost. Probably 20 years ago. I, because I couldn't handle it. I, I can't handle this sort of just horrible things happening to people. No, that's not something I want to think about. And by the way, just so you know, if you ever watch this, which I doubt you will <laughs> ever, right, young lady, maybe sit in front of a computer and type out these interesting thoughts that you're having. Maybe put them into a book form. Maybe just put them in a musings. Hey, musings by uh, T Tallulah, Rose, whatever your name is. And then maybe that would mitigate those annoying, weird thoughts that distract you all day long. Or maybe they'll even take them away entirely. That's what I found. I used to, as a visual artist, I used to be able to close my eyes and I would see images before my eyes. Well, the more I have created visual arts over the years, the less often that happens. I can't close my eyes right now and I probably won't see anything. But I used to be that, yeah, I would see these things just appearing in my vision. Even sometimes it was so bad, it would happen when my eyes were open. Dreams all the time of crazy images, weird images, interesting images, fun images, all that stuff. Then I would start drawing them. I would start creating them on the computer, all those things. I got them out of me as much as I could into the real world, and they're not a bother anymore. Not that they were a bother to begin with. I actually kind of enjoyed them. But this is a good example of another just, just a typical young Western woman who has lost her, not that she ever necessarily had it, but mind, it's gone. And this is what us men are dealing with these days. She is very attractive, right? I mean, we, we haven't seen her without makeup. I think we can. I think there's maybe a video down here somewhere where she's wearing less makeup or no makeup. All right, right, here we go. Yeah, she's still good looking. I mean, look at that. Let's see. I don't know what this is about. It's super weird. So from that video, I have gotten hundreds of messages from Japanese people. Hundreds of messages saying... Uh, anyways, I think she's probably wearing makeup, but just base. She's not wearing like any of the... She was wearing a lot of rouge and stuff in the other videos and everything. So maybe she's not even wearing base though. But you can see she's not unattractive, right? She has even clean features. And she's obviously got the rockin' body. We, we saw that repeatedly, right? She wants to show that off. 
probably some plastic in there somewhere. But yeah, so she's not a bad looking woman, but you're getting the crazy that goes along with it. She admits she's got undiagnosed ADHD. Maybe, maybe it's something else. You don't know. You're not a psychologist, psychi psychiatrist, therapist of any sort. Or maybe she is, who knows. With, with the way things are today, it's like you can be a, uh, considered an expert in something that, for which you should not be an expert in. And in case I haven't driven this point home enough in this video, that she is a person of low moral character, I have another video for you. This is actually only going to be part of the video. This is a four minute video. So when I'm hovering over right now, let's go ahead and take a, a look at it. The way to a man's heart is through his fucking wallet. Think about their stupid fucking video games and how much money they spend. And if you broke their fucking PS7 or whatever the, whatever the fuck it is, they wouldn't cry and scream. They care about what they put their money in. And this is why I like my boyfriend so much because he literally says, I don't need anything. I will give you all my money. I just want to make you happy. I just want to make you smile. And if I can do that by taking you out and buying you shit, then I'm going to do it. But if fucking Samantha came along and asked him to do it, he wouldn't do it. So you've got to, you've got to, Find that guy that will do it. Because I guarantee you there's one out there. Stop fucking chasing this guy that wants nothing to do with you. This boyfriend that you've had for four years. You're paying fucking half the bills. Also, my boyfriend knows we don't live together because I'm not living with him until he pays for fucking everything. I'm not paying a single thing. My money is my money and his money is my money. Anyway, I just uh, want uh, to, to bring this up and, and show this. Now we're going to get into the palate cleanser, which is a freaking tornado. Check this out. It's crazy.